creative living. Utilizing today's technology with the best of the past to bring you innovative ideas and up-to-date information for creative lifestyles in today's active world. With your host, Cheryl Borden. Elena, it's so nice to have you here today and I appreciate you coming. I know we're going to, you're going to demonstrate a product, a project for us in just a minute using some wonderful products, but I first wanted to find out how this project and scrapbooking and bottle cutting, all of these things that you do in your, uh, in your charity, how it's a part of helping other people. Wonderful. Thank you so much for having me. So Charity Wings, we're a nonprofit organization and our mission is to inspire people of all ages to gather, give back and create. So we have built this 6,000 square foot art and craft center mm -hmm. in San Diego. It's filled to the gills with art supplies and we bring in all sorts of nonprofit groups. So cancer support groups, wounded warriors, um, people with developmental disabilities, and we give them the gift of art. Mm -hmm. And we're supported by manufacturers. So basically... So you provide everything for exactly. them. They come in and it's free to them. But you know, art is such a healing tool. Mm -hmm. I know you know you scrapbook and things uh -huh. like that. And when you're sitting there scrapbooking, you're smiling the whole time. That's true. And when you get done, with a project, how good do you feel? That's right. So when we bring these groups in, sometimes we do holiday cards or we, you know, do other projects, but they leave with a completed mm -hmm. project that they get to take home and know that they made with their own two hands. And you can also be proud because some of the people who have come in and showed how to do things have gone on and made a business out Absolutely. of it. Absolutely. So then they That's can amazing. possibly take that and, you know, with the bottle cutting or with upcycling, and we love upcycling, uh -huh. which is what we're going to talk about today, but it's a great way to start your own home business. That's true. Yeah. Well, I couldn't even begin to tell you how many frames I have, some in worse shape, but um, we just all have frames around the we house do. or in a barn or a garage. Yeah. Why do we have so many frames? I I'm don't not know. really sure, but we do. <laughs> we so do. what we want to show you today is how you can upcycle them, um, make them fit with your maybe new decor, uh -huh. or just make them give them a new life. And you said we're going to do sort of a vintage look. I love that look. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah. So and uh, the um, boho sheet and all of those work mm -hmm. really well with this line. So we can do it with metal. We can do it with wood. Um, it goes. Any so Anything? this chalky finish paint by oh. DecoArt, it goes on any surface. Chalky finish. Chalky finish. So it's an ultra matte finish. Mm -hmm. So you can put it on glass, you can put it on metal, you can put it on plastic, any non-porous huh. surface, any slick surface will take it. So once we find our frame, exactly. do, how do we prepare it so we can do this? Okay. You actually don't need to do anything to prepare oh, it. I already like yeah, this. Yeah, I product. know it's very cool. Now, if you had like a table or something that you were going to do, and maybe there's a stain on it, uh -huh. there is a stain blocker in the line that you could put on and let it dry, and that will prevent prevent the stain from coming through because there oh. are some stubborn mm -hmm. stains, mm -hmm. right? But otherwise, you don't need to sand. You don't need to do anything. You, remember, we were talking about mm -hmm. those cobwebs, right? Oh, when yeah. you pull Just it out, dust them off, dust huh? them off, and they're ready to go. So, so yeah. it doesn't really matter what shape. Nope. the original frames in. No, okay. it can look like anything. This was just a really old frame from India, I think, and we just uh -huh. covered it with the red. Uh -huh. I haven't even done anything to treat that at all yet. It oh, just looks okay. great just like this. All right, and and obviously this product comes in lots of beautiful colors. There are 29 vintage intermixable colors in this line. Uh -huh. So it's great because they all go together. Okay, how do we yeah. get started? Okay, so basically I've prepped two frames. This is just a sample of some kind of frame you could mm -hmm. use, but I prepped two frames here for us, and mm -hmm. I figured you could help me with this a little oh, bit. Good. So. Okay. Um, this is the cream wax. So I've already painted and let this completely dry and I used the vintage. And you just use the, the sponge brushes or a you regular paint brush? You can use any kind of brush. They have the little angle brush that's nice because oh. it gets into all the cracks I and like crevices. Those, yeah. um, but otherwise, you can use any kind of paint brush. I mm -hmm. you know, sometimes pull them out of my hair or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> or use it to put back uh -huh. in my hair. So um, yeah, so basically you're going to use mm -hmm. a brush with this. Now because these are really creamy, you mm -hmm. can use any kind of brush. Oh. Um, a lot of times when you're using waxes, people want to use a waxing brush, which is basically okay. a stipple Just, brush, mm -hmm. but that's to get in the cracks. Oh. Because these are so nice and creamy, you mm -hmm. can actually use a regular paintbrush too. Oh. Let okay. me just pull a paper towel here for you. And now this is clear, so it's not going to add color at all. It's not this gonna add any color. What it's going to do is it's going to um, provide a finish 
And once it's dry, it'll dry completely matte as well. But see how it's just yeah, getting it's in all those shiny. cracks? Which is nice though because it lets me see where I might have missed. Exactly. Uh -huh. And once this dries, you can actually use a rag and buff it and it'll turn shiny. So oh. you can have some different options here. What's great Either about these waxes, you can uh -huh. go wet, matte or shiny. And then once you've sealed your piece, uh -huh. it's really great because then you can go over with the colored wax. So every piece needs to be sealed. It doesn't have to be, oh. but if you want that look. Oh, okay. It's just another option for you. Uh huh. Yeah, so oh, the okay. wax is a seal. So um, I would go ahead and do this whole frame. You could do uh -huh. that whole frame. Is this water soluble? It is, is water based, it so it's water easy based. cleanup, exactly. Oh, okay. And we love that. Oh, yeah, I do yeah. too. Um, and then it is more durable and easier to distress than other acrylic paints. Uh -huh. And one of the fun things also is once you get that dry, and I'm just going to show you here, this okay. one's already ready to go, and you can use the brown cream wax. Oh, and these this are all is how, waxes. Exactly. Uh -huh. And then if you put a little bit of that uh -huh. right on the edge here. Oh, and the angle brush works good mm -hmm. with that The angle again. brush works well, great with that. Well, because it goes. So now, am I putting kinda, too nope, much? Nope, you're not. You can't really put too much because what you're going to do next is you're going to use a clean rag. And remember, this is kind of a little tip, when you are wiping wax off of your frame, you don't want to use a dark colored rag because sometimes the oh, color can transfer, transfer. Oh, onto your frame. About so that. use a light rag and then we can just gently But see, it stays off. down in those grooves. Exactly, That's it's wonderful. in the grooves. Uh -huh. And the other thing is, if you still have too much, right, like you right can there. use the wax and um, use the clear wax on it again and it will pick up the color for you. Oh, it will. Yeah. Uh huh. So if you've if you've not liked the way it turned out, mm -hmm. but I love that. Oh, I do too. Now, do you put a top coat or anything to you seal it? You don't need it? to. It's don't. all ready to go. <laughs> and like I said, it's durable, so it's really uh -huh. nice. You can use this for kitchen, uh, anything in your kitchen, like your kitchen mm -hmm. counter or whatever. Um, so this is their new line, and you can find it in your craft stores and your hardware mm -hmm. stores. And it's so great for giving your furniture a new life. Really I just updating really love it. it. Now this frame, this. So, Sort of the distressed look, yeah. right? Yes, this is the distressed look. And underneath this one is actually gold on the outside. You, do you remember those oh. frames that were kind of gold oh, on yeah. the outside and one on the inside? Too. So there's so many different ways to distress your frame. One, obviously, is to use the waxes uh -huh. and kind of give it that dug out of the barn look. Uh -huh. <laughs> but it's soft to me, it it's homey looking. It is, <laughs> it is. I, I love it. It's, it's just vintage. Um, and then you can also use sandpaper. So mm -hmm. you can get different sanding. Um, things going on mm -hmm. and one thing you want to remember when you're distressing things is not to forget to distress your corners Oh, because that's I, where normally it would start first exactly, wouldn't it? Exactly, uh -huh. exactly. So when you're distressing make sure you get your corners really good. This one I just kind of did mm -hmm. a little bit of light sanding but this piece, the red one uh -huh. you were looking at, I actually I used a water this. distressing technique. If you wait at least 30 minutes but no more than an hour you can wipe this paint off so oh. if it's, even if it's a little bit dry, you can now take the it. the paint, we're not talking about the wax. Not the wax, I'm okay. sorry. So the this paint. one's not been treated yet. Uh -huh. But you can put and the paint on, and 30 minutes later, you can take a wet rag and uh -huh. just wipe some of it off. So it's a I resist technique. Uh -huh. And then after an hour, you're kind of done. <laughs> and was this black to it start with? It was a dark, dark brown. Oh, okay. Dark, so dark if we brown. wanted to, we could paint it a dark color. Exactly. And then put a red or exactly. green. Oh, exactly. I think this is such a so pretty So the intermixable look. colors, that's kind of the idea. Uh -huh. is you could layer the colors together and then mm -hmm. get down to the other color. And, and this, this was a one. tray. It was a really cool vintage tray. Oh, that's um, why the handles are on yes, it. Yes, <laughs> exactly. So I popped the middles out to bring them here for uh -huh. the show. But yeah, that's a really fun one. And uh -huh. you can distress with a lot of different things. Like uh -huh. we were talking about the petroleum jelly. There's a petroleum I've never jelly. Done that. Yeah, there, and there's lots of tutorials on Deco Art's website. Uh -huh. So um, you can go on there and see lots of different techniques and things you can do. But and this see is which a one fun. you like. But what an easy. It's project, fun. Uh -huh. yeah, and so it is fun. Go well, take out your frames. Well, thank you so much for showing us what to do with all those frames we have <laughs> on you. hand. Thank you very much.